everybody, it's Matt with remove-malware.com and today I'm going to take a look at Norton Internet Security 2009 Prevention Abilities. I want to take a look and see how Norton Internet Security can protect my computer uh, when you buy it right off the shelf and you install it and you do no customization at all, just you know, straight install out of the box kind of thing. And that's how people really install their security products, normal consumers. So let's see how NIST 2009 does. I've got about 10 malicious URLs, some mix of Trojans. Uh, I've got some rogue sites, some rogue scan sites, and um, some malicious toolkits, a couple of redirects. So I'm not going to pause the video while I install. You just get to see how long it takes to install it. It's a 63 megabyte file, 63 megabyte installer. Uh, Norton Internet Security 2009 has signature-based detection, so that's data, you know, a massive database of blacklisted files, and that database is updated every five to 15 minutes. So you get updates every couple of minutes. Norton Internet Security 2009 also has uh, uh, heuristics, advanced heuristics. And then um, they also, in this release of Norton Internet Security, they have bundled sonar, which is basically their behavior blocker, uh, their behavior analysis bundled into their, um, into their Internet Security package. It's also a really light package, really, really light on the system restore resources, about 10 megabytes from what I've seen, which is real low. Okay, Norton says about 10 minutes until the product starts. 10 seconds, sorry, not 10 minutes. 10 seconds until the uh, UI is loaded up. Okay, that's about right. All right, the first thing I notice when it comes up, oh, this is my 15 days remaining thing. I will say bye later. And I'm not going to create a Norton account, so I'll just minimize that. Um, our definition updates, they're from 66 days ago, so I want to go ahead and run a live update. And we'll see how, see how long that takes. It's a 15 meg update for their for their uh, main uh, database. Okay, pretty quick updates here. I used to be one of the guys that would bash Norton left and right. I mean, all the time. Because the 2002 through 2008 products really weren't that great. But 2009 is like a complete turnaround. So, good for them. I shouldn't really talk so much yet. I mean, I still have to see the prevention abilities. I am going to throw 10 URLs that are about a week old. So, it's some fairly fresh malware edit so
and I say about 10 because these links that I have I tested them earlier this morning they could be dead already so um, hopefully we get 10 somewhere around there just kind of want to get a good idea you know of its prevention abilities so okay it says all completed 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 and I'll go ahead and close this and let's look at our scan settings real quick just to kind of let you know what we're what they've configured for you um, we are uh, scanning compressed files scanning for rootkits and stealth items so we have advanced heuristic protection turned on uh, low risk threats go ahead and ask me real-time protection is auto protect we are going to scan removable media, so it's going to scan all your your USB sticks and all that good stuff. That's really important for all the USB worms going around today. And sonar advanced protection is on, so that's their little behavior blocker. Automatic live update is on. Pulse updates are on. Pulse updates are small little updates um, that come in every five to fifteen minutes. So go ahead and cancel that. And what I'm going to go ahead and do now is minimize this. I'll close it. And let's open up Internet Explorer. And let's see how NIST 2009 handles this stealthy little rogue page that I found. Uh, this typically goes through a lot of products, so let's check it out. I'm going to enter this URL into the address bar. And Norton blocks it. Let's see what it says. HTTP fake scan web page. Awesome. So it blocks that guy. Let's move on to another URL. Go ahead and close these windows. Close that. Close that. Close that. All right. Let's go ahead and paste in another one. Okay, Norton says this is a Trojan. If I try to run it, it does nothing. Blocked. Two for two. Let's go for number three. Blocked. And let's go for number four. So far, I don't see anything going on here. That kind of got me worried there. Gets me worried. Okay, Norton blocks something called Kill AV. But check it out. I see something's actually made it into memory. It was called Load 1. Uh, but it just terminated. So I suppose that was the Kill AV thing. So it looks like it blocked it, I mean, as far as I can tell. All right, let's go ahead and try another URL, number five. Okay, it's a dead link. Let's try number six. Norton blocks it. And it's a malicious toolkit. Uh, number seven is a rogue, uh, like a fake codec page. Norton blocks it. If I view the details, it's a fake codec web page. And if I view um, another URL, another two URLs here to go. Okay, Norton uh, blocks that one as well, I'm pretty sure. Let me try it again. Let's 
So far, nothing. It's kind of quiet. That always gets me worried. Okay, sonar detects. This is the behavior blocker. It detects RS32.net as a security risk. It says sonar has removed the security risk. All right, and I got one more file left here, one more URL. Okay, Norton, finally, at the end, um, last URL blocks a Trojan horse. So, that was a fantastic performance by Norton Internet Security 2009. Everything I threw at it, it completely blocked. Um, we got to see all kinds of parts of Norton. We got to see the typical, uh, you know, fingerprint uh, scanner, and then we also got to see the sonar scanner, and then uh, a little bit of the heuristics in there as well. So if you're considering buying Norton uh, Internet Security 2009, I hope that after watching these these reviews on it, you got to see the detection and removal, and you also got to see the prevention abilities. It's a tight little application. Everyone's always wondering about the memory. Um, let's take a look at what it really is on mine. Um, there's two um, two applications open. I'm betting one of them is this. Let's see if I can go ahead and end task this thing. Now let's take a look at the memory consumption. And hang on one second, I'm going to pause the video. Okay. Let's take a look at the RAM. And indeed, this is phenomenal. 7.9 megabytes for an internet security application is uh, just awesome. Completely awesome. Anyway, I love Norton Internet Security 2009. I highly recommend it. You know, it's a great little suite. If you want to buy it for somebody at the store or something, you can you can now feel good about buying uh, Norton products again. So, anyway, that's enough for me for today. I have got some clients I need to go out and help. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and upload this tonight, and I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.